Visiting from one Stillwater landmark about another Stillwater landmark, we're visiting with Athletic Director Terry Don Phillips of Oklahoma State University about uh, the tremendous project go going on just down the street from the Varsity Butcher Shop, as we like to call it here. <laughs> of course, uh, Richard, Whispering Richard, this is his home, and uh, I like what uh, Bum Phillips says up there, to a great guy and a fair barber. Isn't that about right? Oh, I, I think he uh, gave him too much credit on being a, uh, a fair barber. <laughs> But here we are at One Stillwater Landmark, and we're talking about that tremendous landmark just down the street. Whisper and Richard have been keeping an eye on it, but uh, what a tremendous project. And Terry Down, you have to be very proud of the new athletic center and how it's coming. Well, I, it's a great tribute to Oklahoma State people. It's a great tribute to the city, and most particularly, it's a great uh, tribute to our students that, that uh, stepped up uh, first to help with the funding uh, of the facility. But uh, certainly we've had great private support to make it a reality. And, and, uh, and, the, and the big thing, of course, is that the program that Coach Sutton built that enabled us to get this thing out before the people. And uh, uh, I, our people are really going to be pleased with it, I believe. Well, it was a tremendous uh, team effort, like you say. But uh, let's touch on a little bit further. If Coach Sutton was not back at his alma mater, you don't need to expand Gallagher-Iber Arena more than likely. Now, there were there other needs that uh, this athletic center is going to help with in the athletic department for OSU. But if you don't have Coach Sutton, you don't need to double the capacity. Oh, there's no question. It doesn't ha happen without Coach Sutton. I, I don't think there's any question with, about that whatsoever. That is the catalyst that made everything happen. And, uh, and it's anytime you have seats in demand and people want to come in and, and watch uh, our basketball, uh, that allowed just a whole lot of things to happen that was good for the entire program. Terry Don, there's no doubt this is a very unique project. Uh, taking three buildings, making it one. We uh, talked to the project superintendent, Stephen McDonald, the other day, and we asked him, how did this project compare with some of the others you worked on? He said, all the other ones I've worked on were like bad dreams. This one was like a nightmare. <laughs> well, I think that's probably a good way to, to describe it because, uh, first of all, uh, just coming up with the concept, which I'm very proud of the architects, uh, Gary Sparks out of Tulsa, uh, uh, Fred Crinson and Ron Mitchell, primarily with Ross Fabrap out of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, coming up with a very unique design that, number one, would uh, keep and preserve a great arena and uh, further develop that arena into a very modern arena in every, every respect. But more so than that, uh, it created the square footage to build the auxiliary gym to build the academic center, uh, completely refurbish and redo the football offices and uh, develop meeting rooms, which we haven't had here, uh, locker rooms, sports medicine facilities, strength conditioning, heritage hall, uh, the new wrestling uh, facility. Uh, it, uh, that facility will service every sports team that we have. And although people get bogged down talk about Gallagher Iba, this is a much more comprehensive project than just Gallagher Iba, although that's, that's a huge part of it, but it's just less than half of the total project. Terry Don, one of the questions I wanted to ask you, you've been here now for uh, a little over five years, going on six I guess it is, and uh, what have you learned about OSU fans through uh, your time here at Oklahoma State? Well, I've learned that they're, number one, very loyal, and uh, number two, they love this university. Uh, the people that went to school here, they're very proud of Oklahoma State. Uh, they're uh, proud of the, uh, of their, particularly the athletic programs and the greatness in that program, and particularly, you know, our basketball program. Of course, you've got a rich tradition that was restored when Eddie got here. But uh, the Oklahoma State fans are just, uh, you know, I can't say enough good things about uh, our people. They're absolutely great. Terry Don, I have to ask you, when you first came to Stillwater, what is it about the makeup of Terry Don Phillips that gave you that intestinal fortitude to make a project like this happen? Because when you first got here and you said $50 million project, you had more naysayers than you had believers. Well, yeah, I would say when we started the project, probably 95% of people probably didn't believe that we could uh, get it done. But uh, the thing that we, that we have here, number one, we, we have absolutely the best college president I have ever ever worked for and and I've worked for some good ones but he's absolutely the finest university president I've been around we had a good board and we had uh, uh, fortunately we, we had a handful of people uh, that did believe uh, that it could happen and uh, and it did happen so 
um, uh, you, you start with a nucleus and it just went from there. I guess uh, in closing, Terry Don, uh, this isn't the end of something. It's really just a continuation. I mean, you're, you're happy to see that the uh, Gallagher Iba renovations, which is much more than that, it's the OSU Athletic Center. It's going to mean so much to the program. But uh, there's a next step. Well, the next step, we're uh, getting into that football stadium. We're going to have as good a sports complex as you'll find anywhere in the country, most certainly the Big 12 Conference. And the thing about the Big 12, if you compete effectively in this conference, uh, you're in the hunt nationally. That, that's a given. And uh, this sports complex, once, once we get the football stadium corrected, get it modernized, and tie it into the new athletic center and arena, it will be as good as you'll find anywhere nationally and something that we can recruit to, something our people can come into and be very proud of, and something that will serve this university uh, well for many, many years. Thank you, Terry Don. Thank you, Larry.